Hello, my name is Eric Reed. I'm a professor here in the History Department at WKU. I'm very happy to introduce one of my colleagues in a new series of videos on teaching excellence at WKU. Marco Dumanchich came to WKU in 2013. And in just a few short years, he's already established a reputation as one of the university's top teachers. In 2017, the university awarded Marco the University Award for Teaching Excellence to recognize what a great teacher he is. I think we can all learn something about how to improve our classrooms for Marco. The secret to good teaching, for me, it's about staying humble particularly when you've been teaching for a while. And sometimes I forget that. And I try to remind myself by telling students that I am here for them, they're not here for me. Clearly I teach a class, World History, that is a required class. And so I'm keenly aware that I have a captive audience. And what I often do is then talk about that we're gonna be talking about history, but that I'm gonna be teaching them skills that they can use outside of the classroom and that are not only relevant to history but are also relevant to job interviews, to the, the way they present themselves either verbally or in written form. What we do in history is critical thinking and so what I often do is ask them to play devil's advocate to their own point of view and I, a lot of my assignments are argument counter argument essay so that they have to take into account the opposing point of view in, in order to prove their own. And they actually, the students, particularly in the History 102 class, really find this a challenging exercise, but by the end, they all say that it's one of the most important, significant, and rewarding experiences because they feel like they can think more clearly and be more persuasive. I, uh, when thinking about my teaching uh, method and teaching practice, I always think of myself as a facilitator and a moderator. I actually was inspired by the sciences. And what I like about the sciences is that they have the lecture model, but the lecture means nothing until they go into the lab. And so what I see my classroom as is a laboratory for ideas. Be a little vulnerable and show that you care about their success. I think that's absolutely essential and fundamental to teaching. I think they understand that we are to a certain extent, certain, to a certain extent experts in our field, but I think unless there is that human touch, I think they're uh, a little bit more reluctant to become invested. So if you demonstrate that you're invested in their success, I think they're much more likely to become invested in the success of the class and be much more emotionally invested. Five words or phrases students use the most to describe what I do in the classroom. Most often what appears is challenging, uh, sometimes demanding. Uh, but luckily, challenging the manding is also usually paired with caring. And to my mind, those are the two most important things in teaching. At the risk of being schmaltzy, uh, I, the reason why I love teaching, honestly, is partially for purely selfish reasons. Nothing makes me feel more alive than when I'm in a classroom. And it's an indescribable feeling and I would not replace it with anything. What keeps me back semester after semester is the fact that every semester is different and every class is a new challenge and there's always ways to improve. If you would like to nominate a faculty member to be profiled in a future video, please contact the Center for Innovative Teaching and Learning